is Michael Brazel and I am with Safecare Technologies a little over three years now. I am Client Solutions and I specialize in the areas of cognition, SHX systems, they are multi-sensory rooms, the Luminea multi-sensory room and also environmental control as well. So as well, just in case anyone isn't familiar with our services and so on and so forth with safe care technologies, things are pretty much going as normal. So the support or the management equipment supply repairs all working as normal and we're available to support your assessment work. We can do it both remotely and face to face now. And uh, we still do send out the loan equipment as well to support the process. So even in relation to the eye gaze devices like the eye series, we can support you in the sense that we can send out loan devices, we can come up and we can do a assessments and so on and we're available to support installations also as well uh, whether it's AAC whether it's multi-sensory rooms whether it is uh, radar mounting solutions and other user training visits as well we offer remote team trainings as well and we have an extensive webinar program as well okay so a little about just what we kind of do as well so we specialize in different areas so obviously today's webinar we're talking about the i series and that's a toby dynavox device so that is our communication aac side of things then we specialize with um multi-sensory rooms and the luminea and also environmental control and for that we work with bj live and uh, they are we are the reseller in ireland for bj live products we also are the reseller for readapt mounting solutions so wheelchair mounts uh, table mounts and um also floor mounts as well and Ablenet and Praetorian we specialize in the switches and Abelia we specialize in cognition and scheduling as well okay so I'll get started with the i-series webinar so basically the new i-series is the next generation it is basically comes with the new key features it is the world's number one eye tracker it has computer control which is basically the new windows control so it's basically controlling your computer using your eyes and uh, it's got wake on gaze so that's great for the user they can look away it goes to sleep they can look back and it will wake up for them again and it's also got two switch inputs as well so the device itself, is where we go, you can, uh, it has a rugged magnesium design, so it's quite durable. It's got anti-glare anti -glare gorilla glass, which means that we can use it outside and, and there's no shine off it. It's water resistant as well, and it's got an all day battery life. Uh, also as well as just it's more than communication so it's got a high performance core i5 processor so you don't just have to use it for communication it has other uses as well it's fast and generous ssd it's full hd display of 1080 and it's superb desktop access software as well so i'll show you a bit about that using the control in a while how you can access your device also the tailor made for the user as well so it's got the unique design concept so you'll see it's quite thin it's quite light it's got the partner display at the back it's got adaptive buttons uh, really loud amazing speakers and also lightweight as well so it's quite light as well with an all-day battery life as i mentioned okay so just a quick glance at the i series here i'll just play a video now <laughs> Hi there, how are you doing? Today we will be unboxing the new i series. It comes in two sizes the i13 and i16. And as soon as you open the box, you're greeted by this little guy a guide showing you everything needed to get you going. It has quick tips and nifty explanations. Just keep it in your drawer for a quick reference. And under this protective foam, you'll find the license keys for the included software, along with some other documents. You can keep these for later. And now, the device itself. I love this part. <laughs> And look at that, matte black. It's thin and lightweight. And there's more in the box. Software training cards. These can be used to help with basic features of Snap Core First and Communicator. So hold on to them. And look, a fancy ring binder to keep them together. Next is the adjustable base. It connects via magnetics like so. 
This allows for better positioning of the device. And then you have the power supply. Make sure you use it to charge the battery so you're not stuck in the middle of nowhere without a voice. And the display is made out of Gorilla Glass. It's able to withstand anything. No, no. Let's not try our luck here, okay? It has reinforced corners designed to, designed to endure unintentional drops. See, all good. The device is also widescreen for the best experience. And these covers are for protection in case any water splashes on your device. Okay, thanks, Tarek. I think we got it. These circles at the bottom are the adaptive buttons. You can access them with your eyes or just by touch. They can be used for all sorts of things, such as volume. Speaking of volume, <laughs> this is the real game changer, the partner window. The idea is to enable face-to-face -face communication. We all know how annoying it can be to have someone read over our shoulder. Go ahead. Ask me how awesome it is. How awesome is it? It's super awesome. And it also has an integrated mount plate to go with you everywhere. And when you're ready to turn it on, remember, the power button is on the back. And there you have it, all the parts and pieces of the new iSeries. Really, Greg? A sledgehammer? Okay, so you can see there now from the video just a few of the features of the new i-series itself. So I'll go through them all there in more detail there now. So the sizes themselves. So as you can see there now, as mentioned, there is 13 inch and 16 inch. So they're a little bit bigger than I suppose the predecessor. So you'll see that the i12 and the i12 plus would have been 12 inches. The i15, i15 plus would have been 15 inches. But now these new devices are 13 inch and 16 inch. So they're a step up in size wise, basically. You might see even from this image as well that the actual shape of the screen is bigger and i'll talk about that now next so the size itself you'll see as i mentioned 13 to 16 and the aspect ratio is 16 to 9 aspect ratio which means that's widescreen so that's a little different to the traditional that you would have seen on the 12 and the 15 inch itself and that offers better visibility so the 16 to 9 inch aspect ratio and as you can see from here as well you'll see it's much longer for that widescreen look and it actually works well then with the new eye tracker as well which i'll talk about as well in a little while so as we mentioned as well, the display has got the anti-glare coating on the front. So that will actually stop the glare from out, um, light outside and also light indoors. Well, you know, if you had a light above you, it will stop that glare as well. So you'll be able to see the screen much easier. And you've also got the Gorilla Glass for that added protection. So if it does have a drop, then it is safe enough. Then it won't crack for you. Okay. So as I mentioned, anti-glare, it's got that full HD and it's got the Gorilla Glass as well. So the weight then as well is the next thing to address. So as you can see here now, the old i12, uh, or sorry, i12 plus and the i15 plus, the weights of them would have been 2.8 kgs and 3.8 kgs uh, consecutively. So the new uh, i series, the i13 and the i16 are 2.2 kgs and 2.6 kgs consecutively. So you'll see there now that there is actually a difference. The weight of the i13 is 22% less than the i12 plus and the weight of the i16 is 32% less than the i15 plus. So as the devices are improving, they're also getting light, lighter as well. So the sound then is the next thing to address, and you've probably seen that from the video there a second ago. It's quite loud. The speakers are very, very loud, so they're very crisp as well. So you'll see that it's designed for communication. So much like what you'd see maybe with an iPad or things like that, and the sound is designed around music and things like that. These devices and the speakers within this device itself, it's designed around communication. So for the acapella voices, it has that loud, crisp sound for you. Okay. The next part of the device then is the partner window. So you'll see from the back of the device, and again here now if I show you, you have this partner window at the back here as well. So that particular area of the device itself, that part of window allows for the communication. So I now could be using it and communicating with it, and my speech is coming out in the back as well. So I can actually see what someone is typing as well as here as well. Okay. 
So the next area then is the drop test. So in relation to the predecessors, again, we have the i12 plus and the i15 plus. These would have been drop tested previously as well. And the i12 plus would have been dropped from a 0.8 meter and i15 plus is from 0.6 meters. Okay. And the new i13 was dropped from 1.1 meter and the i16 has dropped from 0 0.8 meters. So you can see there's actually a higher drop test here now. And again, within 10 drops, the devices were okay. So again, that is a 27% higher and 25% higher for the i16. The durability then, so you see the new i series itself, it's a durable, it's much more durable than the old i series device with a fully integrated design. There are no loose parts, so there's no wires sticking out or anything like that as well on the device. Okay, so the drop testing the i13 survived 10 drops, as I mentioned, each side, each corner, back and front from 1.1 meters. As a comparison, the i12 passed this test from 0 0.8 meters. Same with the i16, it passed the same amount of drop tests, so 10 at 0 0.8 meters, whereas the i15 passed it at 0 0.6 meter drop test. Okay. So next to show you then is the adaptive buttons. And that is the next feature that you will find, which is new on the iSeries device again. And you can see it from the image there now, the bottom left-hand corner, but you can also see it here as well, where my finger's pointing, you've got those two buttons here on the left-hand side. So you'll see there is a triangle and also a square on your device. So these adaptive buttons can be used in two ways. So we've got the adaptive buttons for the user and the adaptive buttons for the caregiver. So what you'll see is that if I use it, if I look at it with my eyes as the eye gaze user, it'll do one thing for me, but I can program it so as that the caregiver can have a different function. So I might want it to open up a specific application, whereas the caregiver might want it to maybe, you know, turn down the volume or something like that, or, you know, change it to a different program altogether. So you could have it so that it's separate so that the caregiver can do one thing and the eye gaze user can do another. Okay, next up then is the wake on gaze. And you'll see it again from the images that you've got here. You've got in the eye tracker down the very bottom of the screen, you've got this little white circle. And that white circle there is your wake on gaze. So that will actually detect if the user themselves is looking at the device or looking away. So if I was to look away from the device, it will go to sleep after a few seconds. So this is something you could program in. And then once I look back at it again, it'll wake up for me. I can also use it so that the user can actually manually turn it off as well. So maybe I want to go into the settings and turn on that, um, you know, sleep mode. And then when I look back again, it'll turn wake on gaze on for me again, and I can access my computer. And this is great because it will actually help save the battery as well. So it'll actually preserve and have a longer battery life so that you can use it for much longer throughout the day. The next section then is the Toby i i65 processors or sorry um tracker eye tracker so this basically itself is the new eye tracker so the predecessor would have been the is4 this new one here now is a lot stronger so it has a lot um you know more accuracy to it unparalleled accuracy giving you a larger percentage of you know population that are actually able to use it more than previous so this particular eye tracker as well has the outdoor eye tracking built into it as well Okay, so the eye tracker itself is exclusive to Toby Dynavox. It has those outdoor improvements. It's got accuracy improvements, and it's also got calibration improvements as well. It also has Windows Hello as well. So I can actually, when the device is turning on, operate my device and open up the computer. Okay, so the outdoor eye tracking itself, it takes on the eye series anywhere as it is designed for indoor and outdoor eye tracking, as I mentioned. And the IS5 eye tracker works outdoors in bright sunlight and indoors in brightly lit rooms as well. So the improvements are there now so that you can actually use it in brighter times as well. Whereas the previous predecessor devices might have been hard to use outside. Now we can use them outside. No problem at all. Okay, it's also durable and water resistant as well. So you'll see that it is actually durable and it is resistant to specific rain as well. So, you know, if you have a light rainfall as well, it will be resistant to that as well. So I'm just going to show you another quick video here now. I have been coaching kids for over 27 years. And I believe my purpose here on Earth is to help and inspire others. My device allows me to bark orders to the kids. People are amazed by my device and how I control it with my eyes. 
It is ultimately the only way I can communicate with the world around me. One feature I like about the new iSeries is the partner window. It allows people to see what I'm typing while looking at me. The device gives me back independence. I can continue life as if I am not living with ALS. Okay, so just going back to the iSeries itself, so the key specs of the iSeries. So you'll see it comes with an 8 gigabyte uh, RAM, so basically meaning that it has plenty of memory to run multiple apps, so at the same time you can run all those different apps. It also features a 256 gigabyte SSD, which means you actually have a lot of storage as well, a lot of space to have different applications, different files and things like that on the device as well. And it also has a seventh generation Core i5 processor as well. So it's quite strong and it can keep up with a lot of the work that you can do, you know, if you're doing a lot of things simultaneously. Okay, the inside then you'll see it has the SSD as I mentioned, it has got um, a headphone jack, it's got this two switch access, it's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and location access built into it as well. The next area of the i-series as well is that it has IR built into it as well. So it has got six powerful transmitting diodes. Basically, it's easy to IR, it's easy for IR learning and it's updatable IR library as well. So you can actually store a lot of IR codes within the device itself. So we're able to control windows, doors, blinds, all by programming it programming them into the actual device itself. Mainly for IR, it's just kind of your like your TV remotes and your radio remotes, but it has other access as well for environmental control as well. Okay, so in summary, the size and the aspect ratio are better support I better there to support eye gaze and communication, a better looking display that is clear and reactable even in challenging lighting conditions. It's a lighter device that does not compromise on functionality, easier to bring it with you in more situations and less work to change positions. And it's unparalleled durability, a device you can count on in every situation. Look back at the two devices. So you have the i13, as I mentioned, and you also have the i16 device as well. So they are pretty much the exact same device. They have all the same features. The main differences are the size. And you'll see that the size of the i13, the cost of that is 11,950 plus VAT and 12,150 for the i16 plus VAT. The device itself, you can have it with a combination of different eye gaze options. OK, so you see there's different softwares that you can actually use. For communication, there's things like um, TD Snap, Communicator 5, Snap Scene, Compass, or Grid 3. You've got Computer Control, Windows Control, Gaze Point, Mirror for Android. Uh, you, for education literacy, you've got your different board makers. You can get board maker online, board maker student center, all reading programs, and look to read. Then for eye gaze learning, you have look to learn, sensory IFX, inclusive IFX, learning curve, and gaze viewer as well. When getting a device, then if you were to purchase a device, it comes with the carrier case and the wireless keyboard, and you also get the spare charger as well. Just to give you an idea of the kind of the different levels of eye gaze as well. So the eye series itself, the i13 and the i16, the eye tracker that's built into that, that is the IS5 eye tracker, that can actually come as the PCI as well. So the PCI, which you'll see down the bottom right hand corner of the triangle, you have that and you can get that eye tracker and you can plug that into any Windows device that has a screen size of up to 27 inches. To the left of that, you'll see that you have got the iMobile with PCI. And the iMobile with PCI is basically that eye tracker with the Surface Pro, and you've got the mount as well. So you can combine that to make the iMobile with PCI. Then in the mid-range, you've got the iMobile Plus, and the iMobile Plus is very similar to the iMobile with PCI, but it is the older eye tracker, but it has also got environmental control built into it. And then at the top of the range, you've got, as I mentioned, the i13 and the i16 device. So I'm not going to go into, into too much detail the rest of it now because I know we're caught for time. So just to kind of advise you as well, we will send you out the slides as well. So there is the different kind of um, comparisons between the slides as well. So you see you've got the i16, the i13, iMobile Plus, iMobile or PCI and the PCI. And they're just the different weights, the battery lives, the um, warranties on them and also the software that's included. 
Then we've got the difference in, you know, basically the i16, the i13 is all in one machine, whereas the other devices there, you know, your tracker and your device put together, then the different processes that we have and the speakers. So again, this will all be on the recording and the slides will be sent to you. Just to quickly mention as well, it comes with control software. So control software is how you control your basically your desktop. So this is ex uh, this is different to how you control your communication software. This is how you control your device and go on the internet and open up other applications on your desktop. So you will see you can calibrate. The user can calibrate themselves. You've got a radial menu, meaning that I can actually control the device. So I can bring. I can look at anywhere on the screen. I could look to the top left. And what's going to happen is it's going to fixate on that and it's going to drag my target into the center. So it's going to be easier for me to use it as an eye gaze user because everything's going to be centered in the device for me. Okay, so you'll see that as an example here. So the recycle bin, you'd normally see that will be on the top left of your des uh, desktop, but that's actually dragged into the center of the screen once I look at it for easier access for me. You've got your quick start guide, which helps you to look, you know, left click, right click, scroll and things like that. And it also helps you because it'll pause for you. It'll actually help you to look at the different areas before you actually choose. So it actually gives you that time. It slows everything down for you and helps you to actually look at the device properly and see what you'd want to select and what's your next step, basically. You'd also have the eye gaze settings here. And again, these are completely accessible for the eye gaze users. So they can change the activation, they can change the calibration, and they can also change the keyboard configurations as well. Also, you'll see here, you can change the fixation time. So you can make it slow, medium, and fast. You can change the dwell times and also the opacity as well, okay? So the key benefits of that computer controller, the accuracy, the speed, understanding of it, the fatigue and anxiety. So you'll see that it actually helps alleviate all these problems that will be normally there on previous other ones as well. Okay, so basically, in a nutshell, that the, I suppose the click has been reinvented. So it's just much easier for the eye gaze user so that everything is centered, everything is, you know, easy accessible and everything is slowed down for us to access in more detail.